Hi, I'm Dr. Charles Bowie, a neurosurgeon at the Neuromedical Center. Today we're going to talk about cerebral aneurysms. First, what is an aneurysm? An aneurysm is a little blister on the artery that feeds the brain. It's a basically an outpouching of that artery. The danger of an aneurysm in your brain is that of rupture. If an aneurysm ruptures, it causes bleeding around the brain that has a 50% chance of killing a person when it ruptures. Of the people who survive a rupture, there's a strong chance that they could end up disabled. So that leads us to our next question is, who has an aneurysm and who should be tested for an aneurysm? Approximately 1% of the population does have cerebral aneurysms. People who have family members that have aneurysms are more likely to have an aneurysm than the general population. People who are smokers have a higher risk of rupture if they have an aneurysm. If you do have an aneurysm, there's a question of does it need to be treated and how would you treat it? At the Neuromedical Center, my partner, Dr. Father, and I treat aneurysms in both a traditional open fashion and in a minimally invasive fashion through the groin. The choice of treatment, endovascular, which is the minimally invasive form, or open, which is a craniotomy where we place a titanium clip around the aneurysm, is dependent on the kind of aneurysm each patient has and is chosen to be suited best to the patient. If you have a sudden onset of the worst headache of your life, you need to go to the emergency room. If you've had family members with aneurysms in the past and you are having headaches, you should talk to your doctor about screening and if it's appropriate for you. Third, if you have an aneurysm here in Baton Rouge, we are at the Neuromedical Center very capable of helping you. Difficulty looking at light, light hurting your eyes along with a headache, intense neck stiffness, loss of consciousness, or even in some cases a new onset of a seizure. Uh, first, you should go to the emergency room if one of those things happens suddenly to be checked. If you have a family history or have intense headaches that aren't sudden in nature, not the first time it's happened to you, there are screening tests that you can have for an aneurysm, which include uh, non-invasive procedures such as a CT angiogram, which uses a common CT scanner with dye in your blood to look for abnormalities in the arteries of your brain, or even an MRI, which is called an MR angiogram, which uses non-invasive tests to look at the blood vessels in your head.